Good evening. How are you, everybody? Nas here. You're watching Nostalgic. And uh, this is going to be a Nostalgic Reviews while I sit here in my die-cast corner and, um, you know, kind of be happy with the fact that there's Mazdas to show and the fact that these are Hot Wheels. I haven't done like a straight up Hot Wheels video in a while, so uh, cheers everybody. Um, this is my new addition to Hot Wheels collection and my diecast collection in general. So you guys know that I'm very picky with what I keep for my collection, like not just Hot Wheels, like anything. Um, very like particular these days like it has to have a lot of meaning or something that i'm just like that needs to be right there <laughs> like this so this just came out um stumbled on this this morning um in fact here's a clip all right guys so i've stumbled on a nice fresh restock of uh the new uh team transport we have the sierra cosworth which is freaking awesome then we have the Toyota Land Cruiser and Mercedes-Benz also awesome <laughs> and of course the Mazda the only one that I wanted for this guy right here that is awesome you know me Mr. Mazda right here <laughs> so also there's uh, two more of these bad boys I saw some new Ultra Hots. There's the BMW. Beautiful. Uh, there's uh, one of these treasure hunts that everyone kept telling me I missed at the <laughs> in the last video. It's okay. They can be missed. Alright. Welcome back, everyone. So, um, so, yeah, here it is. Check that out. Uh, so, just saw that this morning. I um, was really happy because... Um, it's Mazda, man, and the Mazda RX-7 FC Pandem, this one right here, like, I really just wanted to have that, you know. Um, Miatas are cool, I'm not, like, anti-Miata, I have this release here, thanks to my, uh, Polish brother, <laughs> Rich, thank you, sir. I believe this was the first official, like, Mazda Speed, Mazda Miata release, um, in premium. So there you go. So I have this. So I guess that's the, you know the same um, casting. Let's see. Uh, as far as other Mazdas, um, you know what? I guess we're also going to take a look at this. This is the only other Mazda thing I have that's from Hot Wheels. This really sweet Team Transport set. So technically, that's like that's a pretty nice you know thing to have for a Hot Wheels collection. So as far as that particular uh, Mazda RX-3 casting goes, I also have this. It's a really uh, lovely little piece. I love the um, the way the green is with the yellow on this thing. So maybe that's a little too bright there. There you go. Look at that thing. So the green is like metallic. But anyway, this is really nice. I like this one probably the most. Um, the only other one I have is the Fast and the Furious, but this was like um, like the throwback series. They have five of these castings with like older models of the same car. You know what I mean. So this one's pretty cool though. I like this one. They did good. Okay, I'm wondering if I should open those or, yeah, let me just show you my other Mazda collection stuff, then I'll open that thing in the end, so hang out for that if you like. So, <laughs> here's the, uh, speaking of uh, Fast and Furious, here's the Mazda RX-7, was this? No, it wasn't Mazda Speed, but anyway, 95 Mazda RX-7, Dom's car. Have a couple of those. Uh, then we have the um, Race Wars, the same casting, only with the HKS livery. Too large. 
Another one bites the dust. Man. All right. Sorry. Then we have the, I believe, Orange Orange Julius. This is his RX-7, which was essentially the same car. They just repainted it for the Too Fast, Too Furious. Okay, so that's what happened to Dom's car. Orange Julius fucking, excuse me, took it and um, <laughs> painted it. So, problem solved. All right, another one is this. Hot Wheels does not make this casting. The RX-7 Veilside uh, body kit. Han's car. So this one's from Pico 64. I have a few different ones, versions of this from different companies. I rather like this Mazda. So yeah. Also, I think this is Mad Mike's uh, car, right? I'm pretty sure it uh, runs on Mazda. Uh, but anyway, and then <laughs> we have these two. That's the same casting. This was released last year, 2023. Uh, the first one came out, it was this one. Really nice. Second one was this. This one came out in the uh, Women of Fast series. And the paint jobs are very different. Like, you can kind of tell if you're looking uh, the way the black and blue fades together. That's totally weird. <laughs> Check out the like the difference in the front here with the outlines and the pinstriping. So they're very different. So I might make one out of both, like use the metal base and then put it on like the right car. I don't know. The original release is the best. So scalper scalp, I guess. I don't know. All right. <laughs> so oh yeah, this thing. Let's open this thing up. So this one's really cool. By the way, this is a premium car. It's metal base with beautiful, um, what do you call them? Real Rider tires. The four spoke Japanese style. Really love this. And I love that green. I hope it comes through in the camera. Look at that. So yeah. M Jones, 78. So uh, yeah. That's the kind of Hot Wheels I like. Something with a lot more meaning. I mean, it has the name there, the number, the colors. Uh, okay, cool. Well, we're kind of like going backwards here. So let's open the uh, Team Transport. This shouldn't take long. Oh, that's just blood, no big deal. Yeah, a little pressure on it, there we go. It's been cut it. Ooh. Okay. I've always wanted to open this freaking team transport set. Oh, oh that's right. There's a lot of plastic there. So the back opens obviously. So that is cool. Another Hot Wheel that I'm very happy that I uh, decided to save and have in my collection. Hold on a sec. There we go. Sorry, I'm just playing with my camera and different like setups with different lighting, different color stuff. So you're watching, you always, when you watch Nostalgic, you're watching uh, a lot of experimentation. <laughs> So there you go. The new team transport has some uh, nice rear tail light action. Also, obviously, the uh, front grille action. The wide wheel wells are black. Other than that, same thing. But yeah, really cool. Man, I really wish someone would make, like, show some freaking love. You know, to uh, the protege, man, the P5. Why is there no love? We need, it's a freaking wagon, bro. <laughs> it's a sports wagon. Um, I don't know, they're pretty fast. There's Mazda Speed versions of them. Like, um, people set them up so crazy. Like, anyway, I think uh, Mazda P5 deserves a little bit of love, man. But anyway, so this is the transport truck. Uh, you've all seen this. This has been out for like a year. 
I'm just showing my Mazda Hot Wheels Mazda collection, man. That's what this video is about. Most importantly, this video is about me <laughs> buying this and adding this to my Mazda collection, which you've already just witnessed. And now we get to open this and check out that freaking Mazda RX-7 FC Pendum, which is something that I really want to see. So, yeah. Contrary to popular belief, I didn't quit collecting Hot Wheels. I'm just very, very particular and thoughtful about which castings I get. Because I like a lot of different companies. I like die cast. I like cars. I can't, like, life's too short to be hanging on to one brand and being just like, no, just this brand. That's it. Man, enjoy all of them, dude. Like, I like cars. Some of them are Hot Wheels. They're beautiful. Some of them are made by other you know, makers. Enjoy it all, man. Okay. Just as long as you're not telling people what they should collect, you're fine. Okay, these are freaking beautiful. Holy crap. Okay, first of all, you know we're gonna look at the Miata first. This thing is cool. Like, I'm not a Miata fan, but, uh, that is really nice. Love the uh, colorway. Sorry, I'm saying it like that. I just hate that term. So the colorway of this Miata casting is like charcoal sparkle. Charcoal sparkle black. <laughs> uh, yeah. If that's not a name for a color, someone should use it because that's brilliant. Charcoal sparkle. All right, so this is really nice. You got your headlights. Look how look at that, man. That is really cool. Very nicely detailed little bits. It's not like sprayed over. <laughs> like you know how sometimes they use that like printer looking crap. I, I really hate that. This does not look like that. So like there act actually looks like water slide decals. So I don't know. I like it. I love the little uh, the little red detail for the roll bar, whatever thing. So here, here's the first release, and here's the new release. Really nice, man. So yeah, some things, man. I love Hot Wheels, dude. Always have. Ah, okay. Here it is. That is really cool. This is what I've been waiting for. This is what you've been um, forced to sit through watching my entire Mazda collection for. This beauty right here. Yeah, that is bright, man. Okay. There she is. How beautiful is this car, man? Love this thing. Just look at those lines, dude. It's just, I don't know. Automotive design, man, like, especially back then, was just beautiful. Perfect size wheels too. Yeah, Hot Wheels did a great job with this. So yeah, really happy to add this thing to my collection. Beautiful. Hmm. I'm sure those of you watching know, is this a new casting that they just released this or is this a re-release? Or a retool? Whatever man. <laughs> Mazda RX-7 FC Pandem. It's gotta be new. It's really cool though. Just, that's a good example of a good premium freaking Hot Wheels car right here. Beautiful. Everything's where it should be. All right. That's it. Thank you for hanging out with Nas um, during this chill Mazda um, unboxing of 
Mazda additions to Nas Maz, Naz, Nazda. Um, thanks for hanging out. I'll see you guys in the uh, another video, I guess. Um, hope you uh, found pleasure in watching my Mazda collection. Mazda.